this movie is going to be an epic, epic disaster. Besides the fact that, that we're going with the whole woman power thing yet again in another IP that is mainly focused towards men. But they have no idea what they're doing with this film. So, rumor and, and I guess discussion came up just the other day where it was talking about what Spider-Man could have been referenced in this film, could have been referenced in this upcoming Madam Web movie. And there's been talks how it was thrown to the side, that it was Andrew Garfield's universe, and then it was going to be Tom Holland's universe. And then it was, well, it was set in a time period that it couldn't fit Tom Holland or couldn't fit this, so they had to go and do a whole bunch of reshoots. Well, according to uh, EW.com, it looks that Madam Web is set in 2003, and it's its own standalone universe. But I thought Sony was making a Sony Spider-Man universe. They were setting this all up with Venom, with Morbius. It was supposed to continue with Madam Web. Everybody's been wondering for years since the first terrible Venom movie, what Spider-Man is in this universe? We thought, oh, by bringing the Vulture in, it had to be Tom Holland. Well, then we were hearing rumors that Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was going to be in this universe. You see, it's just a complete mess. Sony doesn't know what they're doing. This is a terrible, terrible idea to do this film in its own universe, separate from what they're doing with Venom, separate from what Marvel Studios is doing with Tom Holland's Spider-Man in conjunction with Sony. Like, they don't know what they're doing. But we did get some other information from Jeff Schneider, who, from the Hot Mike podcast, uh, Jeff and John, John Roca, they have a podcast, and they talk about all this stuff. Jeff Snyder supposedly is one of those grifters out there. He loves to, to spread information and spoil things for everybody, but of course, we have to talk about this because it is absolutely maddening, it is stupid, it is dumb, it is ridiculous, this movie should not be happening, this universe which is now a separate universe from the Sony Spider-Man universe shouldn't be happening, it's just all getting out of hand. This is the problem when you license out these IPs and Sony's like, oh, we want to get in on this money. Look, the the Tobey Maguire movies in the early 2000s, fantastic movies, loved them. I wasn't a fan of the Andrew Garfield ones. Tom Holland's weren't terrible. They weren't great, but they weren't terrible. The Venom films were, were horrendous. Morbius is, well, Morbius, and we know what that is all about. But everybody was like, oh, Madam Web's going to be fantastic. No, it's not. Look, we got Craven the Hunter coming out. What is that? Is that going to fall in with Madam Web, or is that going to fall in with Venom and, and Morbius? Who the hell knows at this point? No one really knows what's going on. But let's take a look what Jeff Snyder had to say about the rumors that have been going on surrounding this inevitable film that nobody really wants at this point. I heard a crazy rumor, he says, so I did look for evidence about Peter Parker stuff people have been talking about, but I couldn't find much. I was always under the impression that Madam Web was set in the 90s. That's what I thought we were told. From what I understand, Madam Web, they, Sony, thought Andrew Garfield was going to be the Spider-Man in the world. Not that he was going to be in the movie. I don't even know, maybe for the sequels or whatever, but Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was supposed to be the Spider-Man of that world. And afterwards, it was decided it was going to be Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So the point is the ages. So the point is the ages, the timeline. It didn't add up anymore. So I heard the reshoots for Madam Web, the latest reshoots. I thought they were up to something else for that. I was told the latest reshoots were to remove all the 90s references from the movie because someone effed up on, on like, doing the math because Tom Holland's Spider-Man age would be this, whatever it is. I would say when Madam Web comes out, don't expect any 90s references. It no longer takes place in the 90s, and it got rid of the 90s settings. That would have made sense for Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, not Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Being that Uncle Ben is in the movie, and he is younger. He's played by, um, I can't remember his name, from Severance, uh, uh, Parks and Rec. I can't remember his name right now. He's playing a younger Uncle Ben. So yes, I guess it taking place in the late 90s, early 2000s makes sense. So Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man could be younger. Uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, yeah, that's the thing. Tom Holland's Spider-Man, 
the age wouldn't make sense. But why why set it in its own timeline? Why Sony? You're just you're just throwing shit at the wall right now, hoping something sticks because Morbius was horrendous. Venom is not good. Venom Two was quite possibly one of the worst comic book movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Venom One is is probably the worst comic book movie movie I've ever seen in my entire life. So here we sit, Madam Web. We're getting woman power. Woo! In a movie that nobody really wants to see, in a universe that is completely separate, that there's no connective tissue. And you see what happened to the DCEU. When you start to remove any connections, if you have no direction, if nothing makes sense, nobody cares. Nobody wants to see him. Yes, that that is because of what Marvel Studios did. That is the mar. That's. That's the problem that Marvel Studios created with the comic book movie genre. But it's one that you have to adapt to. And Sony, you're not adapting to it. You haven't adapted to it. So not only are you going woke, you're going with this feminist movement where if you take a look, all of these movies right now that are pushing this feminist idea are failing and are, are bombing. So you're still moving in that direction, but you're then creating a disconnected universe that doesn't connect to anything else within the Spider-Man universe that you are creating in hopes that it's going to be successful. This is a recipe for disaster. It's not looking good. Uh, let me know your thoughts, everyone. I want to know what you think about all this. This is nuts. I can't believe that we're, what, two weeks away from this movie and all this information is coming out. It didn't look good to begin with. Uh, but this is just making it even worse, making it even less likely that people are going to go see it. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe. With all that said, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.